Okay guys, today we are going to make an essential video. We are going to talk about 10 essential things that you should be doing if you are preparing for competitive examination like Gate Engineering Services is row and bark. My suggestion, if you do not follow these, better not prepare for it because you are going completely in the wrong direction. Now one thing that hurts me more than anything else is people after investing time and money for one complete year, people who are dedicated and are very very hard working are getting zero result out of this even after working very hard. So I do not want that to happen. So if you are going to follow this video, follow it like a prescription, not as a suggestion. You take out your pen and paper and note down all these 10 things, stick it on your wall and follow it religiously. And if you are going to quit this video and somewhere in between, might as well quit it right now because partial knowledge is more dangerous than anything else. Plus, if you do not follow these 10 things, do not come to me after one year that even after working very hard, I did not get any result because after that, I won't be able to help you. Other than saying just prepare again and this time do it properly, right? So there are basically 10 things that I'm going to be discussing. These 10 things are absolute must for you to do if you're preparing for competitive examination. Number one is syllabus completion. Now we have gone too far and the competition is too high that you can get any good result without completing 100% of your syllabus. So complete 100% of your syllabus only then appear for these examination barring engineering services because engineering services are having a too wide of a syllabus but any other examination you complete the syllabus only then you have a good chance right. So this is very absolute must if you are having 12 subjects complete them all and only then you can expect a good result. The second thing is gate and engineering services previous year question granted your branch does have engineering services previous year question. Now previous year questions are very very important and I have talked talked about it in multiple videos. So do solve all the engineering services. This is also another must. And this is almost laughable that a lot of people appear for these examinations without completely solving engineering services or gate previous year question. Like if you are appearing for gate examination, 50% of the questions will be much more relatable to the questions that have already appeared. If you are not solving those questions, how do you expect to compete over here when the competition is so high? So do solve all the previous year questions. The third thing is class notes. Now it depends completely on you where to cover your syllabus. It can be a coaching institute offline or it can be an online coaching institute or you are following free material. I've made a video on free study material already. You can follow that too. And that is my suggestion of how you should be completing your syllabus. But granted that you have completed, you are completing a syllabus. So let us say you are going through offline classes, an example. So you are going through offline classes during the class. Obviously, you will be making class notes, but the job does not end over here. Right after you come from your class, you have to go through all the things that you have written and underline the important things. You will understand the importance in a moment. The second thing that you do after you return from class is the second point itself. You solve all the previous year questions of that particular chapter. You solve all the gate previous year question and all the ES previous year question. Let us say we completed SFD BMD today. You do not go to next class without finishing all the gate and engineering services previous year question. This is extremely difficult, but this is what you have to do. So solve all the previous year questions. The third thing that you do after the class is that you uh, that you make micronotes. So whatever important formula is there in your class notes, you pick it up and put it in micronotes. This is again going to help you for revision about which we are going to talk about. So these are the three points. The fourth point, it is nothing but what I just said. It is the micronotes. You already have made the micronotes. You are making micronotes every day after the class, but it is your responsibility to memorize this micronotes completely. Now micronotes is having all the formulas for a reason because this is what you're going to forget every now and then. And you are appearing for a competitive examination that judges you by your numerical solving ability. You forget the formula, you cannot solve the numericals. So you do not want to be in that situation. You have to, mem uh, you have to memorize every formula that is over there and revise it on almost on a daily basis to memorize it like that. So do this every day and over time your uh, micronotes will become too big like it will take two three days to revise it completely but that is a task that we are going to deal with in the later phases. Till then I'm going to be talking about exam specific notes also. 
by the way i've already made a video on that you can check it out if you want to understand what you have to do after three four months but we'll be talking about that the next is the revision cycle and that is why i told you guys to underline the important things in your class notes because the first two revision is going to be from your class notes the class notes is the absolute base so it is covering everything everything might not be important for competitive examination but some things are important for example root is important for you to have a stem right so you have to strengthen that part first so i'm telling you only in the first two division maybe it is going to be july august you are going to be revising class notes now understand the philosophy of revision of the first two cycles there's a philosophy that you revise first after one day the second one after one week and the third one after one month now the one day revision is already done that is what you do after the class right after you come back from your class you revise whatever you study that is one day revision the second one is one week and it does not mean that what you studied today you're going to revise exactly after one week that's not how it works once you have completed a subject mark it let us say 23rd march i have completed strength of material then mark it exactly on 30th march i'm going to revise the strength of material again from 0 to 100 everything in strength of material i'm going to revise the revision after one week is going to be your first revision cycle of your class notes what do you do you revise your class notes only the important underlined part and also you solve the star mark questions again when you're solving the previous year question for the first time the questions in which you are finding difficulty you marked it as a star mark so solve them again this is one week revision the first revision cycle the second revision cycle is going to be after one month so today it is 30th march and i did my first revision cycle exactly on 30th april you have to do another one and it will be taking like one or two days but you have to do it like that because that's when your brain starts to forget things and that's where you have to rewind it again that is the second revision cycle and these two are going to be based on your class notes now the job of class note is done because you have revised it properly the third and fourth revision cycle is basically my sixth point that is going to be your cyclic revision and this time you are going to revise based on your test series now i've talked about this before i'm not going to talk about in detail the video is this one if you want to see it in detail but basically what you do you use one test series and then you give that subject wise test series you find out the mistake you work on that for one week and meanwhile you start for the next subject wise test series and then after a week you give two test series one on which you worked on you found the weakness and next one let us say next subject that you're going to start on check out the video so that you understand in more detail you can click on the i button so the subject wise test series is going to take care of your subject wise preparation so basically you are going to give four subject wise tests for every subject twice in first cycle and twice in the second cycle now your subject wise preparation is good you are good at dealing with different subjects separately now what you're going to do is combine it all and you'll start giving full length test series and it is my request to you guys please start giving your full length test series from december onwards if you started from january it is going to become a havoc you will not get sufficient time to see improvement so it is going to be very important to start full length test series accordingly you start your plan and that brings me to the last three points the daily routine planning the weekly planning and the long-term planning you have to take care of that everything has to be channelized and streamlined only then you're going to crack this examination because the syllabus is vast the competition is big if you go randomly you are not going to lie anywhere so the first thing is to do list every day you are going to give yourself target that yes today i'm going to do this 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 and once you do it you cut it out and that's that's how you your target should be every day whatever i have planned to do you should be able to do it you will not be that good in the beginning but you will become better over time especially because you're doing it every day a lot of people complain about procrastination and wasting a lot of time and you're not able to do things properly that is the prime reason for that is you are not guiding yourself you do not know what you have to do and when you do not know what to do you are doing things that you do not need to do right so that is the to-do list the eight point is weekly routine now you must be very confused that how do i understand what are the things that i'm going to do today that is something that you understand from a little bit longer perspective a full week of what you have to cover this full week so you plan it that monday tuesday wednesday thursday a brief idea of what you're going to do throughout the week only then you will understand what you have to do every day now it might be even confusing for you to understand what you have to do throughout the week 
that comes from a longer planning that is the 10th one and long term planning basically covers your 6 to 10 months of what you should be doing so let us say first two months it will be your syllabus completion the third fourth fifth month will be syllabus completion and the revision of the previous thing that you have studied the last two months will be your test series and like that you have to plan after me i have made another video on that also that is why i'm saying i've told everything but people are not following that is why i made this one single video in which everything is there it is basically a connection to a lot of videos all the linked videos will be in description box there's a video in which i have specifically made a long-term plan for a student who is preparing for a competitive examination taking an example and doing that by the way every one of these 10 points is having a video connected to it so please watch that understand the exam properly and then you prepare for this examination otherwise you will be wasting a lot of time and money and it is not only your money i understand that a lot of you guys are studying and are students so your parents are investing money and honestly they do not know how to prepare for these examinations because they are not they are not experienced in these examinations so it is your job to find out ways so please do it this is like i said a prescription write down all these 10 points and stick it on your wall you have to follow this you have to this is a sport now if you are for example preparing for 100 meter races of olympics now you want to beat the record of Usain Bolt you have to do things in a certain way you have to run every day you have to increase your stamina you have to have a proper diet you cannot say that okay i'll eat burgers every day and i'll do some boxing moves and i'll go and defeat the Hussain Bolt's record after four years. It does not work like that. There's a strategy to it, there's a method to it. Listen to people who have already done it and understand and learn from their mistakes. So do it, please do it and please share it. And if you do not do it, do not come one year later that you did not get the result. I'll see all of you in the next one. Till then, bye. My second YouTube channel is on personality development. You want to improve the way you speak, the way you talk, the way your personality is perceived by others, follow me over there. And also, a lot of vlog videos are there, me talking about my story and my preparation days. Recently, I've started my days, uh, talking about my days back in Coaching Institute. And I've talked about a lot of things. You can go and check it out. That's about it. I'll see all of you in the next one. Till then, bye. Uh, empty hearts and neon lights. They're playing with my mind. Gotta get out.